For those of you that aren't ready for summer to end just yet, good news, it doesn't have to. Unless perhaps you are a college athlete, in which case your summer is pretty much over already. Just ask the Vermont Catamounts, who already have a number of athletes on campus for the upcoming fall season, which includes the guys team who made a historic season last year and another NCAA run thanks to a very stacked senior class. Unfortunately, they can't stay in school forever, and their four years were up. So the team loses some experience, which includes on the sidelines as well, as head coach Jesse Cormier also moved on in the offseason, which now leaves Catamount assistant coach Rob Dow, now the head man, and the remaining Cats to have a little bit of work to do as they try to build off what their previous teams have built here. They also have some work to do if they want to prove themselves in the America East. The league preseason poll came out today, has Vermont ranked seventh to start the year. The league gets a little tougher this year with UMass Lowell officially eligible for America East postseason play after complying with the NCAA Division I transition rules. They are immediately looked at as the team to beat, with Albany also getting three of the combined eight first place votes and second overall. The Catamounts won't begin conference play until September 30th. That's at Hartford. They begin the regular season on Friday, August 25th at Hartwick. The women's team has already been receiving some preseason attention, getting fifth in the Air America East poll. They also get a much earlier start than the guys and just about everyone else in the state and the region. The women get the real thing started as early as this Friday and will do it at home, the same place they've had winning records over the last couple years. And the women will host Sacred Heart. That's on Friday under those Virtue Field lights. I'll have more from the Lady Cats leading up to their kickoff.